What's going on, guys? It's uh, a little late to start these, but, you know, I'm going to try my best to do them every day. Uh, if you noticed, I got my hair cut. I think it looks pretty good, pretty snazzy. Uh, Brittany did really, really good. Uh, this was actually the first time I've ever been to where I went. <coughs> and I really, really liked it. Uh, normally when I get my eyebrows waxed, it kind of hurts a little bit. Um, but I don't know what today was. It didn't really hurt that bad. Uh, as you can tell, I'm kind of losing my voice. Um, uh, I think I'm getting sick. I've, <clears throat> I feel a little hot, a little sick to my stomach and, you know, my throat's kind of hurting a little bit. Um, it hurt really, really bad when I woke up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, nothing really has been going on other than the fact that I got my haircut and I went to the gym. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but, uh, I did, uh, weighted pelvic thrusts. Uh, they work strictly on your glutes. Uh, basically what you do, you take a barbell or a straight bar, whichever one, um, you put it across your hips, like right, like right here, like right here. Um, you put your shoulders onto a bench and you put, you make your feet flat onto the ground and then you literally just thrust your pelvis upward. Um, and that literally works your glutes so much that after three sets of 15 with 135 pounds, I couldn't really walk. Um, and then I tried to walk and it, my legs felt like jelly. It's, it's ridiculous how much, um, you need your glutes to walk. It's, it's really, really weird. Like you never understand how much you need a certain specific muscle group, excuse me, how much you need a certain specific muscle group to, to function like, you know, you wouldn't expect, you know, your chest to, you know, if, if you don't pay attention, you don't expect your chest to be extremely important. I mean, obviously it is because, you know, anything pushing, but like, if you don't realize how much you use your chest and you work out your chest and then you try to drive by putting like one, like, you know, one handing it and pushing, pushing on it to turn, it's really, really hard. Um, but yeah, I'm just watching, uh, I'm just watching, uh, YouTube videos. This is CTFXC Charles Trippy. Um, and I just saw what you get to hit when you hit a million subscribers. And that's awesome. Um, that is really, really cool. I really would, I mean, it'd be really, really cool to get a gold plated, uh, play button. Um, but you know, I mean, even just like a hundred thousand subscribers, that that's like a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand people in the world that watch YouTube videos of me. I don't know. I just think that would be really, really cool. I have one, whoever you are. Thank you. Uh, but you know, I will, uh, yeah, I think I might have another dream other than becoming a successful actor. So I'm watching uh, Kevin Hart. Um, let me explain. Hilarious. You should go watch it. It's on Netflix. Um, but at the end, you know, he he's he's talking to everybody. You know, saying, you know, this is like been one of my biggest dreams, and he actually breaks down. And you know, I just I really really find it really. I don't know. I really like watching people achieve their dreams, you know, because it gives me hope, I guess, to achieve mine, you know, like, uh, as I, uh, you know, said, I watched Charles and Allie open their, um, their gold play button for YouTube for hitting a million subscribers. And, you know, that's been a dream of theirs. And, I don't know. I just, I'm excited for them, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm excited for, you know, what's to come for me and, you know, how, you know, far Charles and Allie and Shay and, you know, all these people and how much bigger Kevin Hart can get. I mean, like, it's, it's 
ridiculous, you know, and I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I, I love watching people achieve their dreams, and I'm actually, actually on TV, um, I'm watching uh, Guinness Book of World Records uh, uh, Unleashed, it's basically the Guinness Book, uh, you know, people attempt records and stuff on there, um, and I don't know, I, I just, I really enjoy it, I guess, um, yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited for people who achieve what they want to do, and especially when they have to work hard at it, that's, that's the biggest thing that really motivates me to keep going, is not the people who, you know, just did something and all of a sudden become famous, and, you know, not saying he, um, uh, didn't work hard once he got famous, but, you know, like Justin Bieber, when he was younger, he just, you know, made YouTube videos, and then all of a sudden got really, really famous, got a record deal, and then bam, he's like huge, you know, no, I'm, I'm talking about the people who struggle first, like, me, I'm unemployed trying to, you know, get my acting career started, and, you know, I don't make any money, and my mom and my stepdad are supporting me, for doing this, and I think that's, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have a family like that, or like, uh, you know, Kevin, Kevin Hart, you know, he was doing, you know, comedy clubs, like, back to back to back, like, these small, small comedy clubs, and then, you know, now he is, you know, selling out the Madison Square Garden, 30,000 people, you know, and he's only one of a few comedians who's ever done that in their life, you know, and I don't know, it, it gives me, it gives me motivation to, you know, it, it can happen to me, it will happen to me, and it's going to happen to me, um, but I don't know, it's just kind of going through my head, I guess. It is freaking cold outside. I mean, seriously. That's what happens when you live in Cincinnati. You get sub-zero temperatures. <sighs> it is four degrees with a wind chill of negative five. And just to show you how cold it is, it is literally icy on the inside. Like, look, look at this. That's on the inside of this house. You see? That is freaking cold. It, Cincinnati, why do you have to be like that, man? I mean, honestly. That's retarded. No city needs to be like that. Let alone the city that I live in. But anyways, it is getting late. I'm going to finish up this, uh... <coughs> I'm going to finish up the show. And I'm probably going to head out. Or head to bed. So... Until next time, see you guys later.